Hey, happy 2011. Welcome once again back to the motherboards.org YouTube channel. For fans of the Intel CPU lineup, the Sandy Bridge launch is upon us here on January 2nd, 2011. Well, first off, we're going to look at the new Intel 2600K CPU. Now, what the K signifies is the K signifies that it has an unlocked core and that it contains the HD 3000 graphics on board. The CPU we're looking at today is 3.4 gigahertz, and when you get the Intel Turbo Boost with automatically engages, it automatically takes it to 3.8 gigahertz. Now, it also has eight megabytes of level three cache. These are some of the main features that you're gonna want as the end user. Now, the motherboard that we're testing is the P67BG motherboard. This motherboard does not have the embedded onboard graphics, and this motherboard is more intended for the enthusiast user. When you step down to the other motherboard that we're gonna be taking a look at, that's the H motherboard, it allows you to use the onboard graphics. Now, all of the CPUs that are being released from Intel in this launch all contain the embedded graphics core, but only the H series boards allow you to actually use that. The other boards, which are the P series boards, those are more geared for the overclocker and the high end person. So check it out today as we take a look at the new Intel 2600K and the P67GB motherboard. Okay, so now we've seen the testing and we now know how the new Sandy Bridge 2600K CPU runs. Now, just remember, the K series signifies that the core is unlocked and you get the HD 3000 graphics on board. For the overclocker, that may really not matter whatsoever having the onboard graphics because you're probably just gonna use a graphics card anyways. But for $317, this CPU competes very well with last year's i7-870, which was priced around the same price and was actually used more wattage and had less power than this CPU. So Intel has succeeded. They've brought more power to the table. They've brought integrated graphics into the CPU, something nobody else has done. This is a first in the market forever. So Intel, you get thumbs up for that. You have beat everybody else to the punch on this. For those things alone, I give Intel a solid editor's choice. The overclocking on these CPUs, I'll do another video on, but these overclocking CPUs with a K are unbelievable. Just screwing around the lab, we got it up to 4.6 easily without even really messing around at all. Now, I've read that these CPUs can get up to like 5.4, 5.5 with air cooling alone. I'll try to get there and bring other videos. But for now, I have to say that the new Intel 2600K is a serious editor's choice CPU. Not only for the technology that Intel has brought to the table, but for the very fact that for the price, it competes very well with what they had out from last generation. Thanks for watching.